Are we naturally artificial? It's a question that's becoming increasingly relevant in the age of artificial intelligence and technology. As we continue to create machines that mimic human abilities, it's natural to wonder just how similar we are to these systems. But what happens when we start to realize that our own biological processes could be considered artificial? In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating but also scary topic of naturally artificial and explore why it can be both fascinating and, at times, downright scary. But first, if you want to stay updated on more scary AI topics, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Before we can answer the question of whether we are artificial by nature, we need to define what we mean by artificial. Over the past few decades, technology and artificial intelligence have advanced rapidly, and we've integrated them into our daily lives. But what about our biology? Our bodies are made up of intricate systems that work together to keep us alive. Our organs, nerves, and brains all perform complex functions that are essential to our survival. When we compare these processes to the workings of artificial systems, we start to see some similarities. Both our biological processes and artificial systems involve inputs, processes, and outputs. They both use feedback loops to adjust their behavior and respond to changing conditions and they both have the capacity to learn and adapt over time. In fact, some scientists have even begun to describe the human body as a type of biological machine. Our cells use biochemical reactions to generate energy, and our muscles and bones work together like levers and pulleys to allow us to move and manipulate our environment. Even our brains, which are often thought of as the seed of our consciousness and individuality, can be seen as a type of computer. Our neurons transmit electrical and chemical signals to communicate with each other. And our brains use feedback loops and pattern recognition to process information. Now that we've looked at the similarities between our biological processes and artificial systems, we can turn to the central question of this video. Are we artificial by nature? Our species has evolved over millions of years, and we've been developing tools and machines for thousands of years. We've learned to use fire, build shelters, and create complex technologies like the wheel and the printing press. As we've developed more sophisticated technologies, we've become increasingly integrated with them. Today, we use smartphones, laptops, and other devices to communicate, work, and learn. We rely on artificial intelligence to drive our cars diagnose diseases, and make financial decisions. It's becoming more difficult to separate ourselves from the technology we've created. As we look to the future, we can imagine a world where humans and machines are even more closely intertwined. Brain-computer interfaces, nanotechnology, and advanced robotics could allow us to enhance our physical and cognitive abilities beyond what we thought was possible. But even if we continue to merge with technology, we are still fundamentally biological beings. Our bodies are shaped by our genes, our environment, and our experiences. Our brains are capable of complex emotions and creative expression that are difficult to replicate in artificial systems. So, are we artificial by nature? I think the answer is not a simple yes or no. We are biological beings with a long history of technological development. Our biology and our technology have shaped each other in profound ways. And it's difficult to draw a clear line between the two. There are some examples of where we may be considered artificial. One example is prosthetic limbs. People who have lost limbs due to accidents or illness can have prosthetic limbs attached that are powered by electricity and controlled by the user's muscles. These limbs can allow people to do things they couldn't do before, such as playing sports or playing a musical instrument. Another example is genetic engineering. Scientists can now edit the DNA of plants and animals to create new breeds that have desirable traits, such as drought resistance or increased productivity. This technology has the potential to help feed the growing global population but it also raises ethical questions about the limits of human intervention in the natural world. Do you consider yourself to be artificial by nature? Share your thoughts in the comments below.
As we continue to develop more advanced technologies and integrate them into our lives, we will need to grapple with the ethical and moral implications of our artificial nature. One concern is that as we become more reliant on technology, we may lose touch with our natural environment and our ability to survive without it. We may become less resilient and adaptable as a species, and more vulnerable to the effects of climate change and other environmental disasters. Another concern is the impact of technology on our social and emotional lives. Social media and other forms of digital communication have changed the way we interact with each other, and some argue that it has led to increased isolation and loneliness. There are also ethical questions about the use of artificial intelligence in decision making. As AI becomes more advanced, it may be used to make decisions that have life or death consequences, such as in healthcare or in military operations. Who will be responsible for these decisions, and how will we ensure that they are made in a fair and just manner? In conclusion, the question of whether we are artificial by nature is a thought-provoking and complex one. Our biology and our technology have shaped each other in profound ways, and it's difficult to draw a clear line between the two. As we continue to develop more advanced technologies and integrate them into our lives, we will need to grapple with the ethical and moral implications of our artificial nature. However, we are still fundamentally biological beings with unique abilities and characteristics that set us apart from artificial systems. Our emotions, creativity, and capacity for empathy and connection are essential to our humanity. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Also don't forget to click the video on screen, because in it I am going to tell you more about the fascinating scary world of AI.